Good morning, good evening, everybody. This is Rahul Chandurkar. Uh, today, my topic is the power of your subconscious mind. Uh, somehow, it gels well from the previous topic that Raghun took, the out-of-box thinking. So, I hope I can do some justice with this topic to help you see how you can do out-of-the-box thinking. All right? Um, the, why I got this topic? So, a couple months back, I was reading through this book, uh, which my wife suggested, and I did take a liberty of you know going through it. Uh, it has been <coughs> quite a few months, but I have tried to put my thoughts around it, and let's see how it uh, kind of you know evaluates, uh, evolves, and uh, and uh, provokes everybody. So, what is the subconscious mind? Do you know it? If there is already a treasure hunt inside you. It's a big piece of magnet, I would say that uh, that is present in every human being, uh, and that helps you to do a wonderful job uh, have you ever uh, do have you have you ever to do something new to do to it no you already possess it you have to only know how to use it so a, a mind is compared to a very powerful magnet in the human body okay so for example a magnet if it is charged okay it can do wonder wonder jobs for example it can do we uh, 20 times the weight of its own. Uh, it can weight lift 20 times of its own weight. But if it is demagnetized, it cannot even, let's say, lift a paper or a feather. Okay? To have a magnetized mind is something called a very, and to use it is something called subconscious mind. So how does the mind work? So there are two levels of minds that has been kind of called out. One is your conscious mind. That is a very rational set of mind. That is a thinking thinking portion. And it's a very objective mind. Another portion is called subconscious mind or an irrational, or it is also a subjective mind. Uh, the lead is the leader is a conscious mind. So it is the one who takes it, it is, who who thinks about you. It, it is the driver. It is the something that is in the driver's seat. The subconscious mind is something that that is a follower. Okay. So everything, uh, the rational thinking, the objective thinking that we do is always through the uh, cautious mind. That is the logic. Whenever I say I'm using certain logic, I'm using my cautious mind. However, when I think that, hey, you know, I, something has to be done positive, I need to be successful at something, I need to, let's say, pass an exam, that is something my cautious mind is telling me to go ahead and do certain things. But what is really helping me to succeed? Okay, behind the scene is my subconscious mind. If you tell your, uh, yourself that, hey, you know, uh, for example, if you have seen a movie three days, it said, hey, you know, all is well, all is well, it does a couple of times, right? So if you are in a, uh, if you are in fear or if you want to be successful or something, you have to tell yourself that, you know, I will be successful in doing something. I will be able to drive a car, sports car at uh, 120 miles an hour. Something that we don't do it every day, but you have to do it today right so who drives it the the rational mind tells you do it but who gives you the power to do it is actually the subconscious mind moving on so uh, all the cautious thinking all the logical mindset is is nothing but your cautious mindset okay that is and it is not and as i said it is a leader it is the captain of the ship all now let's compare it with a ship. So let's say there is a captain on the ship. He's in charge of the ship. He's going to run the ship, right? And he gives orders to his men who are in the, you know, who are driving the ship. All they do is the men carry all the orders of the captain. So whenever the captain says, hey, you know, I need to go northeast 20 degrees, 20 degrees north of east, uh, the men in the engine room who are driving the ship, okay, all they do is they are putting more fuel, more direction to, you know, uh, to the oars and, and giving it a direction. They are the not, they are not the ones who are really thinking about it. The thinking is done by somebody called the captain of the ship. So your cautious mind is the captain of the ship. He's the one who is giving you all the directions to the human body to say, hey, what is right, what is wrong. Okay. Uh, so, uh, by giving the right orders to your subconscious mind, you are actually helping you to to, uh, to change your uh, thoughts, your destiny, but propelling yourself in the right direction. A lot of times we, uh, we will see that, you know, uh, we are failing to uh, appear for an exam. What is it? It is only the fear. 
it's not that uh, the person cannot do this work it's not that he doesn't know how to learn it but it is the subconscious mind that tells him that hey you know um, you can do it you cannot do it okay so the main problem behind the scene is the subconscious mind moving on to the subconscious mind uh, so what it is it it is it is the one who takes the order and it it will be driven throughout your uh, uh, conscious mind okay whatever you tell the subconscious mind it will take that as it it doesn't have its own self thinking because it's all driven through the conscious mind so whenever you give you give a subconscious mind an idea it will immediately start thinking it in all the directions and mind you it works good for both good and bad things uh, like and it is very powerful i'll give you an example uh, so whenever we a uh, lot of times during our college college times we are not sure that hey you know i have a very difficult uh, exam coming up i have a paper, stem paper coming up i have a physics math math paper coming coming up what we usually do a lot of people go and visit the temples what they think is that hey you know uh, by going to a temple i will i will get something uh, by praying to the god and i will come back and come out of that and say hey you know i was successful in uh, you know hopefully i'll do it this time i'll cross this uh, river i'll cross the math exam i'll cross i'll i'll be successful in doing something what what is what really is working behind the scene it's your you are telling your subconscious mind that hey you know i can do it it it's it's not that you know i know the prayers get or uh, get you get blessed your prayers are offered they get uh, approved you can say from god but what really is happening scientifically is hey your subconscious mind start believing in it that you know you can do it you have removed the fears from your uh, from yourself that uh, it's not achievable right it is achievable so you are telling yourself it is achievable so power of belief what is it uh, you receive answers to the prayer because of the mental acceptance what you have you have prayed so you always think that hey you know i you prepare yourself for that and say yeah, i am going to do it i will be able to achieve it so then uh, so there is a science behind it and that science is all because of the uh, cautious and the subconscious mind working together one good line that i like this uh, you know the law of life is the law of belief and a belief is what you have in your mind so unless you believe in that thought I, you will never be able to uh, achieve it you know we will always come we'll have fears we'll have lack of confidence we'll have we will have a lot of hurdles to cross so the law of life is to believe in the thought that i can do it i will be able to cross this the world you live in is determined by the thought that is in your mind right so if you want to spread happiness it is thought of your mind that say you know i am i am going to talk positive i am going to talk to my friends i will be open to everybody so whatever goes into your mind is what builds makes you happy joyous and uh, i would say lively we have always been told in past that hey think positive okay so our parents have always been telling us don't oh, think negative think positive so what do you tell basically is if you look scientifically is you are telling your subconscious mind to start thinking positive that gives you more uh, energy to uh, start thinking through the positive direction in the optimistic way and that basically takes you to so that is the power of subconscious mind and the power of belief all right so it's a short story coming to the conclusion hey you have this uh, wonderful magnet within you 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 just we just don't know how to use it right but the moment you need need uh, understand how to use it you start uh, addressing most of your problems you will come out of the depression you will come out of saying no i can't do it and it it is something that will help you to uh, achieve your goals um, and make your life happy with that thought in mind uh, i close this topic thank you very much